Oh, wow. Dark and Darker uh, Studio raided by police following stolen, cold a stolen code allegations. The search was reportedly connected to allegations of theft from Nexon, but Iron Mace says there's nothing to worry about. Wait a second, let me, let me just turn this off so you guys can hear it. Dark and Darker Studio raided uh, by police following stolen, cold, stolen code allegations. I don't know why I'm trouble saying that. Search was reportedly connected to allegations of theft from Nexon, but Iron Mace says there's nothing to worry about. Uh, a Yonap news report says police in South Korea. Oh, that's interesting because that's actually where Nexon is. Uh, search the office of Dark and Darker, developer Iron Mace, and seize materials related to the project. The raid of the city in, I don't know how to say that, uh, was reportedly connected to allegations that the game is being built using code and assets stolen from Nexon. Nexon was reportedly working on a similar project as P3 before pulling the plug. Iron Mace was founded shortly afterward and includes former Nexon employees who apparently didn't part with the company on the best of terms. The Iron Mace website describes the studio as, studio as a merry band of veteran game developers disillusioned by the exploitative and greedy practices that we once helped create. There it is. Uh, a complaint over the matter was filed by Nexon. Oh, okay, okay. Because like I, I originally didn't even believe this until I see that there's actually a filing that we can see. Alright. The Yonap report says that Gianji uh, Southern Police, uh, forwarded the matter to the branch uh, of the Suwon, uh, District Prosecutor's Office of 2022, uh, which requested a supplementary investigation in December. Uh, Iron Mace, uh, denied the allegations, uh, in February saying absolutely no stolen assets or code were used to make our game. It absolute, it was also described as a lawsuit filed against Nexon, at least one of the former employee who moved to Iron Mace as a separate personal matter. Okay. In messages posted to the Dark and Darker Discord, an Iron Mace employee using the name Grayson acknowledged... <laughs> Uh, acknowledged, uh, Dread Gladiator, uh, acknowledged that the police search happened, but nothing was found. They also recommended that followers not worry too much about what you hear regarding Nexon. Most of what you see on the internet is not accurate. There will be no delay in development, and there is nothing to worry about. Okay, so they, oh, so they actually tweeted this out. Okay, great. So, reached out to Iron Mace, and they haven't replied yet. Okay, um, well, so this is really the way that I look at it, is that whenever you work for a company, everything that you do and the work that you create, that's at least, you know, a part of, like, that, that thing. Like, I don't think it's, I, I do not find it ethical to work for a company and then leave the company and then take the things that you, that the company paid you to work on and go and make your own thing. Like, I, I do not find this to be, un, uh, to be ethical. However, I don't think this is what's happening. Like, I, I saw the videos and the comparison of Dark and Darker and this P3 game. They're not the same thing. So, I, I think that there, there will probably be a lawsuit for this. I absolutely think this is going to happen. Now, I'm not sure about it, but it certainly seems like things are, uh, are winding up to be like that. Wouldn't they have uh, non-competing agreements? Um, you know what? I don't know if they have non-competes because, like... I don't know if non-competes are like a U.S. thing or other companies or under, other countries do them too. Uh, I'm genuinely not sure. So I, I, I can't really say one way or another. But uh, they use part, maybe it's some part of the code. I think so. It's South Korea, bro. It's different laws there. Exactly. But like, I feel like they probably have something that's similar to a non-compete. Like, while each country does have its own laws, there are a lot of overlaps in different kinds of laws. Uh, what if the company pulls the trigger? Then why not? Maybe they want it to continue the dead project. They could recreate code, but they didn't steal it. Um, I, I will say this, that uh, Dark and Darker, while the game can frustrate me a lot and tilt the fuck out of me, uh, I do think this is a, uh, it's a genuinely good game. And any problem that I might have with the game is probably just my own personal opinion. Uh, it's in no way, shape, or form a perfect game. And I think that's evidenced by the fact that it's literally still an alpha. However, um... I don't think there's anything really legit with this. I highly doubt that Dark and Darker is actually going to get shut down because of this. I do see people that are a little bit probably skeptical about it because it seems kind of weird. But overall, I would say that it's not that big of a surprise. 
Yeah, a previous company would have uh, uh, would have paid for work boost in a new company then? Yeah, that's possible. Uh, I'm a software engineer for a large company, and in my contract states anything that we worked on my employment is theirs. Yeah, uh, I think that's the case with a lot of things. Most companies set the terms on employees, intellectual property, and the employment contract. Exactly. So it's contractual. Uh, I do think in general, signing a contract and then breaking the contract because you think that you have the moral authority to do so is not a good thing. But I see no evidence that that is the case based on the comparisons that Dark and Darker has been shown next to with this game P3. So I am on Dark and Darker's side, but I think what's most important is that people are going to, uh, you know, is that what the right thing happens. So hopefully the, uh, the authorities will be able to do their job and, you know, we'll get the best result possible. I do hope Dark and Darker comes out of this unscathed, but we'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think? When even the gacha community thinks Nexon's a piece of shit company, probably the most legit of claims on their part, and that's a very true, a, a true thing, is that there is a good chance that this is actual bullshit, and the only reason that Nexon is doing it is because these people, you know, like maybe they're, they don't like it because they position themselves as like being anti-Nexon, and, and they used to work for there, so like it probably pissed them off on like a personal level, like absolutely. But overall, I, I don't really think there's much much to go on with this. Uh, there's Project P3 gameplay on Twitter. Uh, I'd have to look at it more. I mean, if people want to post the similarities, I'll definitely take a look at it. Just corporate bullying to try to shut down a smaller company? Yes, I, I, I think that's probably what's happening, although I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. All I'm saying is that I do think that there is a world where Dark and Darker, the people that work there, did something bad, but... I'm not going to just believe that based off of two screenshots and some search warrant, especially whenever it's a massive company against a very small company of people that left the previous company. Uh, I could just easily see this being something that is, you know, it, it's just some fucking, it, it's like it's corporate bullying, or it's corporate intimidation, or, you know, some form of that, or there's something personal going on. Should talk about video games more. This is great. Yeah, I, I, I thought about talking about video games more, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, stealing codes or assets is obviously a problem, but I don't think you can really steal an idea for a game loop, especially if the company did not choose to pursue the project. It depends on how abstract the idea is. So, for example... Like, let's say you're trying to steal a game like Pikmin, okay? And you have a guy that comes down in the spaceship, and instead of his name's, uh, instead of his name being Olimar, it's Oliver. And, um, instead of finding Pikmin, he finds Pikemen, and they're these guys that have pikes, and they stab things. I feel like at a certain point, you can be effectively stealing an idea. But the, the barrier for that is so high. It's so in, in incredibly high because I'm very much against the, I, I feel like U.S. copyright is very overreaching in, in a lot of regards. So I almost always side with the person, I almost always side with the person stealing. Sorry, <laughs> that's, that's just me. So yeah, I, I, I'll definitely side on, on, on that end. However, there are instances of it being bad. So I, I will wait and see what happens. For them to get trademark copyright, not sure about South Korea. That's the thing, right? It's like, let's be honest, guys. This is an English-speaking audience. Probably none of us have any idea about the laws in South Korea. What the fuck do we know? I just hope Dark and Darker doesn't get shut down. It was fun to watch Soda play this game a lot. And it would, it would suck if it gets shut down for some stupid fucking code reason, you know? So that's what I think. It's awful that they got raided and, uh... Uh, apparently, I mean, everybody's pretty much typing out the same stuff. Nothing really new there. Uh, I don't know how I missed this. Oh, it happened today, maybe. Well, that's... Oh, it happened 13 minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I missed it, because it just happened. Got it. One person says it's stealing, another says it's competition, like Coke versus Pepsi. Very similar concepts, but different enough. Well, it's actually a very bad example if you want to use Coke versus Pepsi, because technically somebody stole the Coke recipe and offered it to Pepsi for like a million dollars or ten million dollars, and Pepsi ended up turning them into the police. So, so that's actually not the best example to use, but I understand what you're trying to get at. Yeah, don't worry, I, I, I get what you're saying. 
And anyway, let's go back and we're going to look at a few more of these things here. Pepsi, I mean, I love Pepsi. Like, I love Coke. I love Pepsi. I love Dr. Pepper. You guys know that. Uh, I, I love fucking Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I love root beer. I love Mr. Pib. Uh, let's say I love cream soda. I love Dr. Pepper cream soda. Uh, like, I, I like soda. That's what it is. I like ginger ale. Yep. Hell yeah. Definitely. 7-Up. Bro, 7-Up. What the move? Fucking drink 7-Up. <laughs> 